Thank you for tuning in today. Hi, I'm Kyla Grogan from HXGN TV. Rockfall in open pit mines. It's the most common cause of accidents and death, creating a high demand for monitoring of rockfall and avalanches. This type of monitoring is needed not only in mines, but also in other applications, such as civil protection and public safety. So with us today, we have Francesco Coppi. He is the product manager at IDS Geo Radar. We're going to talk about how the RockSpot radar system can locate, track, and alert on rock falls, avalanches, and other fast moving events such as mud and debris flow. So thank you, Francesco, for being thank here. You. I got to say, I'm personally fascinated by this subject, so I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. So first of all, can you just briefly describe what RockSpot yeah. is? Sure. RockSpot is an innovative radar system able to pick up rock pool and any other kind of fast moving geological event, such as avalanche, uh, debris flow, and mud flow, and a few seconds after the detachment. Uh, long before that the human eye can see it and immediately after the detection is able to uh, trigger automatically alert to block the access to the area that is exposed to the risk by activating automatically traffic lights, road barrier or similar, uh, similar notification way. Uh, at the same time it notifies also alerts by means of text messages and email so the user can go and check what happened and take decision whether to reopen or not uh, the road. Uh, beside this important alerting feature of Rockfall, uh, Rockspot is also able to detect information that no other technology is able to provide today, such as the path of the Rockfall, georeferenced in, in the real world. And uh, uh, any the information associated to, to each event is can be visualized in an easy to use web platform called GeoCloud that is able to collect uh, events coming from multiple rock spots and show them in an easy to interact geographic view. So if there's anything that's related to something else, you'll be able to see it rather quickly. Yeah. Okay, in what industries and environments is rock spot useful? It sounds like many, many yeah. people would find this very useful information. Yeah, yeah. There are many situations that, that where the rock spot can be useful, but I, I can be identified that there are two main application environments. The first one is open pit mine, as you mentioned at the beginning where it's known that rockfall is one of the major uh, source of casualties because many old roads and working iron are constantly exposed to the risk of rockfall. And despite the huge budget that is spent every year to deploy rock barrier, rockfall, mesh and net, geotechnical engineer who is in charge to, take, to, to guarantee the safety uh, are not still enough uh, uh, confident about uh, this kind of protection. So it's, you, you can think about the string case where the only way to increase the level of risk, they use human spotter that are looking at the slope with naked eye. In this context, rock spot can dramatically increase the, the safety standard by providing immediate alert in case of rockfall, block section of all road before the rock reaches. it. Secondly, the availability of uh, the information of many events can be used to perform statistical analysis and then support the design of passive protection or to define uh, exclusion area. The other application environment is uh, related to the more civil application, uh, the mountain area where many roads and railways are exposed to the high risk of avalanche. And these roads are used by many people to, to, to go to ski resorts, or small villages. Uh, today, the, the, the way to mitigate such a risk is to deploy the same pro passive protection, countermeasure, or to build an artificial tunnel to completely eliminate the, the risk. But very often, the community budget is not high enough to afford them. So, Rospot represents a cost-effective solution for the civil authorities to uh, significantly mitigate uh, such a risk by triggering alert and block roads and railways before the avalanche, many tens of seconds before the avalanche can yeah. hit them. So this is kind of giving that information a way to get to people so quickly that they yeah. have a chance to react. Yeah, have a ch quick reaction, timely reaction. So how does RockSpot protect the on-site workers and the public? I mean, we've talked about this a little bit. It's really getting that information to them quickly so they have a chance to yeah. escape danger. Of course, you, have, you need enough time uh, before, in advance, before the rock will uh, uh, reach the area where people is in danger. So the, 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 the way is uh, quite simple. With uh, the automatic alert, you can, with the traffic lights, 
you evaluate, do you put the traffic lights in the right spot yeah. to make sure that the people is not there when the rock is there. So what's the difference between, we're talking about rock falls yeah. and avalanches. Can we talk a little bit of, of what that technically means, yeah. the difference? The, uh, from the application point of view, there are not many differences in the sense for, for that the goal of rock spot in both cases is to detect the alert at the right. early stage and block the roads and uh, notify the alert. Uh, also, uh, the, the fact to have many events, uh, many uh, meaningful information uh, such as the path can be used in both cases to perform statistic analysis and define catch burn sites and exclusion area. Uh, so, as I said, from the application point of view, not many differences. The, uh, the main difference is, is the, the length and the extent of the event. Right. Uh, since usually uh, avalanche are the extent of avalanche is much larger, longer in time, and easier to detect. This is the main difference. Right, whereas rockfall can happen in an instant. Yeah. And you may not know it unless you're standing right there. There are also extreme conditions when a single rockfall, it's typically not isolated since when the rock hit the ground, it triggered other many small rockfalls in up to the extreme case of a rockfall avalanche that is equivalent to a snow avalanche. Okay, so can you summarize the key features and benefits of Rock Sport, just to point out? Yeah, the main points. Rock Sport has been specifically designed to work in any weather condition in the harshest, harshest environment, starting from the open beam mine case to the mountain uh, side case. Uh, the basic uh, Rock Sport setup is quite compact. It's composed by one single electronic cabinet connected with a single cable to a Rock Sport unit that is mounted on a pole and pointed towards the area to be monitored. A single rock spot unit can monitor an entire mine wall wow. or a uh, natural slope thanks to its wide horizontal view of 80 degree and long operating distance of two kilometers. And uh, the, this uh, coverage can be also doubled in the same setup simply by adding a second rock spot unit connected to the same uh, electronic uh, cabinet. Uh, the, each each Raspot unit includes a camera to record the event while it's happening mm -hmm. and also a GPS compass to georeference the event. It's very important to georeference in the real world so you, yeah. you can see it in geographic view. Uh, so uh, Raspot can uh, monitor 24-7 and provide immediate alert before the human can see it and enabling uh, the quicker and timely reaction to this kind uh, of event. Yeah. Each of these information can be visualized anywhere and in any device thanks to GeoCloud that is a user-friendly, multi-user friendly, multi -user -friendly uh, platform that uh, show uh, in an easy to interact geographic view all these uh, events. And uh, from GeoCloud you can see side by side for each event the travel path synchronized with the frame by frame with a video recorded by the camera that is part of the Rospot unit. And GeoCloud collects data from multiple uh, Rospots, so it creates a sort of a event database can, right. can be used for statistical analysis. Right. Uh, le uh, last point, but not less important, is the fact that uh, the uh, Rospot is able to, uh, co uh, to measure information that was not uh, available uh, since today by other technologies mm. and you're referring particularly to the travel path that can be used to calibrate the simulation algorithm used uh, to, to, for, for rockfall and avalanche that are used to design, to help the design of uh, passive protection. Right, so it's one of those things too, all that data will help things yeah. in the future to be clearer, right? Yeah, sure. To be able to know. So why should companies, would you say, why should they invest in rock squat? If you look today at the picture of critical monitoring, uh, interferometric radar and uh, uh, geodetic equipment are efficiently used to monitor very slow deformation and provide early warning before the event based on this uh, measurement. But uh, in most of the cases, rock spot, er, the rockfall uh, are anticipated by very limited or no movement. From the other side, laser scanners are used for post-event evaluation to, uh, to, to locate where a rockfall happened and what was the size yeah. of the rockfall. But doesn't give any information about uh, when it happened and why, why it were happening. So, Rockspot is the first 
industry-first end-to-end solution, filling this gap in critical monitoring, detecting rockfall and avalanche and any fast collapse event and providing immediate alert and uh, give the access to all this precious information to any user with GeoCloud. Right. In conclusion, Raspot with GeoCloud uh, are the right tools to bring the safety to the next level for the mining industry and the, civil, and the, the community. And ultimately, not only saving companies money, but saving lives. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Very good. All right. Thank you so much, Francesco. That was really interesting. Thank so you. for more information about today's topic, you can visit LikeAGeosystems.com and to watch additional episodes or learn more, just visit HXGNSpotlight.com. Thanks for being here.